Welcome to the course I 36, uh, 362. Um, so this is the uh, our first lecture, my first lecture on the MATLAB review. So that uh, probably we are going to discuss that why we need to program and and why we need to understand how to efficiently um, design the software that we are going to use. And to do that, uh, you have to have some basic knowledge about the how to program. So uh, that's what we are going to cover uh, throughout this week. So the name is the MATLAB review. So let me uh, try to use these pens um, for a second. Um, obviously not working. Ah, OK, so got it. So here I'm going to do this and pen. OK, good. So, uh, so this online lecture will be, uh, is going to be divided into like the uh, three parts uh, for a single week. So we are going to have three videos to, for you to watch and for me to um, like produce. So uh, that uh, small part of the first part would be, uh, would be uh, MATLAB introduction. So, okay, let's start. So our weekly objectives is that we are going to review the MATLAB that will be used for a program uh, for for a programming purpose throughout this uh, course, and then uh, we have to know how to set up the MATLAB. And uh, the first thing that you wanna do with the programming language would be uh, the hello world and the to do that, you have to memorize some basic grammar, and you have to understand the uh, programming structure and so forth. Okay. So finally, but uh, the most important part of this week is understanding the reference of the MATLAB variables, so that um, in the future you might not know about this, but some of you may already heard of the linked list or the graph structure or tree structure. All these data structures are based upon these references, so that this is the important thing uh, that we are going to cover uh, throughout this week. Okay, so these are the things that you, that I suppose you uh, to teach and you suppose supposed to run. Okay, so uh, before we really start with the MATLAB. Uh, so okay, I'm not in the computer science department, but I have to still I have to run some uh, coding. Why? <laughs> so uh, that might be your first question. Um, so that this is a just very short answer to that. Uh, and uh, in addition to that uh, answer, uh, why we ha you have to run the data structure and its algorithms. Okay. So programming is pretty important to build something that matters, right? The, this house will host uh, our people, and the, that's going to be housing for someone it means something for those someone, right? And the, you are going to be someone like this one, okay? So you are going to design this um, house, and you are going to build it. So the construction forget about the programming part uh, for a second and just why don't we just concentrate on the construction part. For the, in terms of the construction, the designer is not the only one uh, who participates in the constructions. These all machines should be in the construction and many people are involved. Okay, In that case, then there should be some designer, right? Uh, this guy, this guy is called designer. Designer who uh, right, the, uh, captures the purpose of this house and what the customer wants, the, what the clients wants. Uh, capturing these ideas is pretty crucial and producing uh, or constructing a house um, from that perspective would be the uh, the main purpose for this designer. And what's going to happen in the field for you is that you are going to be one of your design, uh, uh, you are going to be uh, someone like this one, okay? So I'll just put you here 
and maybe not you right now, but you in the future. Okay. So you are going to capture clients' needs, and you are going to capture the what industry wants, and then you are going to give some solutions to that uh, industry and your clients. And many times the solutions will be packaged packaged in a format of the software and so this house is going to be your service or product in the shape of software okay it's going to be messy <laughs> okay so for me this this is not the first time but almost first time using this tablet so please understand um, okay so any anyhow so this house this house is going to be your service product in the shape of the software and along the line you are going to use many software development development tools languages and machines and so forth okay so because your service and product will be in the shape of the software at the end of the day uh, then you want that program to be very efficient so programming is just going to be your delivery tool the implementation tool so conceptual thinking and design conceptual thinking and design will be most important thing so where to put the restroom and how to find the restroom we are going to discuss this in the very first offline course offline classroom um, and some of you already know the answer right um, if you haven't paying attention to the offline classroom uh, lecture uh, please do anyhow so designing and capturing the key ideas and the designing your solutions will be very important and practical design and implement implementation requires certain skills certain skills how to do a good design and how to do a good implementation right the good design and good implementation would be the key would be the key and here the good design part some of this design part will fall into capturing the client's idea and needs and that's not something that we are going to discuss in this classroom but um, after capturing client's idea and the purpose then you have to come up with a good design here good design means that data structure and algorithms and then you have to provide a good execution the good implementations right the good design and if it's a bad implementations right the build um, the underlying data structure and algorithm is good but it's programmed in a bad way then it's not going to be impressive and bad design and good implementations sometimes this uh, outcome the the software with bad design but good uh, implementation sometimes um, through some annotations at the uh, initially but at the end of the day eventually it goes down so what you need is this the good design at good and good implementations so to do that you have to run the data structure and algorithms for the design purpose and also you need to do you need to have some idea on the implementations the programming okay so what we are going to do this week is that to equip you how to implement right good implementation part is the something that you have to build upon over years of the experience but before that at least you have to implement you have to be able to implement something okay so that's what we are going to do Okay.